Hi, this is a software video review from softwaresland.com and today I'm, I'm reviewing Acronis Disk Director Suite, a very cool application uh, and it's actually pretty cheap as well uh, that you can use to partition your hard drive, take free space from one partition and give it to your next one, install operating systems and all that, those tasks, uh, even edit your disk, uh, everything you want to do. Uh, and do it safely without losing any data. So what I did, I installed the Chronis Distractor Suite on Windows 7 and uh, on a virtual machine and as you can see there uh, I've just run it now. Okay, now what I, what I will try to do, I'll use the wizard mode and I'll take free space from my main partition and I'll give it, give it to my new partition which I'm going to create. Um, so what I want to do is I want to create a partition now the wizard asked me what, uh, where should the free space come from and I'll select the NTFS partition which is my main partition which I have Windows 7 installed in. Okay, now it's, uh, it's doing the thing and now uh, it asked me how big the partition I want to be and I, I'll, I'll set it at 1 gig so and I want it to be a primary partition uh, meaning that um, I can boot another operating system off it or anything else. Uh. Now. Um, it asks me for a file system I want to use and I'll say I actually want to use FAT16 uh, uh, operating uh, well file system and it will actually allow me to access those files from any operating system I'd like even Microsoft DOS. Now it asks me do I want to assign a letter to the new partition uh, so you know when I go to computer my computer I can see it in the list as, as a letter yeah I'll, I'll assign T as for testing and I'll, I'll, I'll call it test one now this is how the my hard disk uh, will be partitioned after I finish this operation and this is the the new partition I'm, I'm just going to create taking free space from here so I click finish um, it shows me the new logic of the disk I might do other operations now as well uh, but if I'm okay with that, I just click on the commit button and I'll go to proceed. It actually says that a reboot will be required and that is okay um, because it will probably do its magic uh, just before starting Windows. And it's rebooting now. Okay, shutting down Windows and everything and it has to boot now back to, to a fresh, uh, fresh machine state. Okay, now Windows is starting again. And just before the window starts, uh, the program will actually do its magic and uh, take the free space from the main partition, shrink it up and then give the new free space uh, to my new partition and format it as uh, FAT16. Now, as you can see, it's doing its thing in text mode now and uh, just before starting Windows and uh, well, hopefully everything works out and, and everything works like that. Uh, so now it's doing operation 2 out of 2, creating the partition. Uh, it's, it's done that, synchronizing with the operating system and rebooting again. Okay, so it's starting Windows again and uh, hopefully when Windows starts we should see the new partition um, in my computer and it should be accessible to use that uh, place files on it and, and just to make sure it's, it's working and everything uh, we'll, we'll create a text file and we will actually put it onto the onto the new partition so, so we can see it works um, and that it's, it's all done correctly. Okay, so Windows started as for my password, Windows 7. Um, and it's actually very easy to install Windows 7. Uh, you can check out my uh, video review of how to do that. It's, it's pretty straightforward. You can get it for free from Microsoft. So, okay, I go to computer now. And here it is, the one gigabyte test partition. Just create a, I will create a bitmap image on that drive. So we see it works now. Okay, um, we should actually edit it now. Okay, uh, take some brushes as you see, fancy, fancy paint uh, program in Windows Vista. And wow, that is so cool. If I just close it now, you want to save, yes. If I double click on it, yep, yeah, it works. So the partition is, is there. Now, um, let's say I would like to move this partition to somewhere, rearrange the space and just uh, 
let's see if it allows me to do that I'll run the program again and see and see how is that for uh, partition should I move it okay I'll try to move it and I want to okay it doesn't doesn't allow me to move it uh, I'll merge it okay I'll merge these two partitions into one okay so it asked me where I want to attach this partition and I will attach it to my main partition okay and now it asks me uh, where to place that I create a new folder and it's called test merge and all the data from my from my partition uh, should go into that folder and uh, actually the partition should be gone and all the files that were in partition should not be deleted they would be in my test mesh folder just uh, let's see if that works out and uh, if the merge is completed I click commit again reboot is required so I click on reboot reboot and just uh, let the, the, the program do its magic okay okay so Windows is starting up again uh, the program did its magic by now um, and it's just just finishing up with that and we'll, uh, we'll just hope that everything went fine and that none of the data in my test partition has been lost and that all has been moved to my to my um, to the folder I created called uh, the merge test merge folder just going to computer okay so the partition is gone now okay and just let's see if all the files went into the test merge catalog uh, okay they did but what it says now uh, the file is there but it says the because I don't have the correct permissions to open the file so let's just go into properties and, and see what happens security uh, okay I'll click on continue administrators allow everything owner okay I'll change the current owner to Windows 7 okay see how that works mm, still can't access it now the as you see the data has been moved but just the uh, for some reason I can't access it because I'm, I'm, I'm not allowed uh, full control full control okay effective permissions okay I'll try to add myself from the Windows 7 is the username I'm using and I'll just add that take full control allow full control okay okay yeah okay so uh, you might have to do the if you're using a secure a secure file system like Windows 7 one you might have to modify the permissions on the files and you can actually do it on the whole folder and just copy the partitions across but as you see it's the same picture I made in the test so all that actually really really works and there's uh, more cool things you have you can do with that with that software with the Cronus test director suite uh, copy partitions, recover partitions, uh, you can actually build, build a bootable media like a CD and then, or DVD or anything, and then boot it, boot your computer from there and recover your partition from there if, if you have problems. And you can actually do much, much, much more than that. And there's, um, you can use a mic if you want, a Chronis Recovery Expert or, or, or whatever you, you actually want and we'll try another thing we'll try to convert that oh it's probably enough for today <laughs> and what well, you see it's a, it's a great program uh it doesn't cost much it's easy to use and uh, well good luck good luck thank you for watching this has been a software video review from softwareslant.com and i hope you enjoy it good luck